Okay, let's talk about conversions. Now, it doesn't matter if we're converting, uh, in this case, years to seconds, or if we're doing the metric system. Uh, all conversions are done the same. We're going to use dimensional analysis to do this. Now, I don't know how many seconds are in one year, but what I have to do first is I have to find a way to get from years to seconds. And I do this using basically what I call these are my statement of equality. Now, I don't know how many seconds are in a year, but I do know that one year has 365 days. Okay? I do know that one day equals 24 hours, and I do know that one hour has 60 minutes and one minute has 60 seconds. And if I do this, I basically I made a way to go from years to seconds. Now, in the metric system, the metric system is easy because everything is bases off of 10. So there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. Okay? And they're based off of 10 and how we step up. That makes it easy. Sometimes we can just move the decimal. But on something like this, we have to have statement of equality to set it up. Now, the first thing that we would do is we would always start with the number the problem gave us, 100 years, okay? and I would set it up. Now, one thing that I need to see is that opposite boxes need to have the same unit so that they cancel out. Okay, so the only thing that has years in it is right here. We use this first conversion factor and we'll put years on the bottom. One year equals 365 days. Now we haven't made it to seconds yet, so I keep on going. And once I use a conversion factor, I usually like to cross it out. And since we have days right there, we use this conversion factor. One day equals 24 hours. And I keep going because I haven't made it to seconds yet. I know that one hour equals 60 minutes. And I keep going because I haven't made it to seconds yet. But I do know that one minute equals 60 seconds. And since we have years on top, years on bottom, they cancel. Days on top, days on bottom, they cancel. Hours on top, hours on bottom, it cancels. Minutes on top, minutes on bottom, it cancels. And I'm left with my unit of seconds. So all I do is I multiply the top and divide by the bottom, which our bottom is going to be 1. So it's just 100 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60. And I press enter and I will get a very, very large number that I'll put in scientific notation, which is 3.15 times 10 to the ninth seconds.